his music became more what I call, I call the third period his poetic period because the, the narrative, the implied drama that's so strong in so much of his music in the middle period, you know, like from, from darkness to light in the fifth symphony and so forth, these dramatic narratives were very clear and he wanted them to be clear. But I think he turned away from those narratives in the late music to a more kind of poetic and quasi-improvisatory uh, way of putting pieces together. The old forms like sonata form were still there, but they were sunk deeper beneath the surface. Sometimes you don't even know that they are there, but sometimes you don't notice them. So the music became more mysterious. It's also, all these things played into it, music by a guy who, who was going into the later stages of deafness. Uh, most of the late music was written when he was functionally, he was never 100% deaf, but he was functionally deaf and had to write down conversations uh, starting in 1818. So he could only hear music in his head. So in, in a sense, for that reason, his music became more interior. It was a kind of interior monologue that he could no longer hear out there anymore. Even he spent a lot of time improvising on piano, but he couldn't hear it, which for me as a musician and composer is one of the saddest things of all. This image of hours of Beethoven playing music he couldn't hear at the keyboard. Um, so all those played into the late style, I think. I think also reading critis, critics of his music who were romantics like E.T.A. Hoffman and were talking things about in articles that Beethoven surely read about the lever of fear and awe and, and the sublime. All these romantic ideas that were not fundamental to Beethoven as a person, but he absorbed everything. He absorbed everything like a sponge. I think that played into it too. He, he got another perspective on his own music, perhaps from some of these critics. The critics that most interested him, that he personally thanked, were Hoffman and uh, Adolf Marx, who happened to be historically the most important critics of his music. He knew, he knew what was good, what he saw, it, even in critics of his music. Um, I think all that played into the late style, but after that, you know, who, who can say where these things come from? I mean, to me, to be a genius is to amaze yourself. You don't, any honest person of great talent knows that they're not ultimately responsible. It's something, you know, Stravinsky said, the ride of spring, I'm the vessel through which the ride of spring came into the world. And he, he said, I don't know where it comes from. Um, where do these things come from? It was a kind of music, a kind of spirituality that had never been in music before, never been in the world before. So you can find reasons for it, but ultimately it has to do with whatever it is, the angels or, you know, your metaphor here. It's what comes through you. And things like the A minor quartet, the Opus 132, um, this uh, kind of mystical beginning of this little motif turning around on itself and then exploding in an allegro, um, these kind of new ways of putting pieces together in much more free and as if improvisatory ways are part of it. But I don't think the, the Ninth Symphony is a total, um, I'm sorry, I don't think the late music is a total break with him at all. What he did was to intensify everything. Uh, if he had contrasts, you know, much more intense contrasts in his earlier music, they became even more intense. He wrote music that was both more complex and more simple. Um, the tremendous complexity of the counterpoint in the second movement of the uh, Ninth Symphony and then the uh, the extraordinary simplicity of the of the trio of that, which is just like a little folk tune, dum bum bum bam bum. It's utter simplicity, and the uh, the the A minor quartet is some of that too. In a way, the 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 um, um, the, the holy the song of Thanksgiving of the convalescent, which is certainly something directly from his life after a period of illness. Um, is enormously simple music. It is very straightforward. It's mostly quarter notes and half notes. It has a very even rhythmic flow. And yet at the level of, of, of inspiration and, and skill and experience he had, he could make these things something absolutely sublime. Um, so the third period is all those things at the same time, but there's a mystery at the heart of it, like everything else, like all music that's any good, like all art that's any good like love and joy and God and things like that, they're all indefinable. 